So making 3D maps in Godot, sometimes it's quite laborious, especially if you are using Blender, but with the new plugin for Trenchbroom, it will be much, much easier. And I'm going to show you how to install it and how to have an incredible map like this or like this one. And then you will only have to uh, update your map every time, build the mesh and just play your game. So I have a brand new project here and I'm going to go to the asset lib. And here we have two options for Godot 4. The main plugin Quadot has not been updated and is not shown here. But there is an incredible plugin called Trench Broom Loader created by Miss. So we can just download and install this plugin and we will have to restart the editor. Now that we are here, we will have a folder called Addons. So to enable this addon, we will go to Project, Project Settings plugins and we will click enable and now we will be able to create a new node so i'm going to make a new map and i'm going to add a new node this will be a node tb loader i'm going to create it and here we have a few options for map lining etc so now it's the time we download and install trench broom so trench broom is actually another open source uh, program to make maps. So, in order to download Trench Broom, we will go to trenchbroom.github.io. We will, we will hit download, and now at the bottom, there are all the versions of Trench Broom we can have. And in my case, this will be Windows 64 bit version. I'm going to download it and I'm going to open the program. So this is the .exe and I'm going to make a new map and as you can see there are a bunch of games already installed in Trenchum Broom where you can make maps for these games but we won't need any of those games so we can delete those games in our Trench Broom installation we will go to games and we can actually delete all these folders there are some functionality in some of them if you want to use entity brushes or opening doors inside trench broom but i prefer to make those entities and interactable nodes inside godot and not in trench broom so i'm going to make a new map and there will be no games here Instead of those games that are pre-installed in Trench Broom, we will go to our Trench Broom Loader page inside GitHub by just clicking in Contents View Files and this will open a new window and it says right here that there is another website for this TV loader in GitHub so we will be we will have to open that one and now we have to download the game for Godot. This is inside this folder, TV Game Config. So we have to download all the project as a zip file and extract it in another folder. So this is the folder for the new plugin for Trench Broom. And inside TV Config, we have all the configurations for our Godot game engine. So we can use it inside Trench Broom. So I'm just going to copy these files and inside our original Trench Broom installation, inside the games folder, I'm going to make a new folder for our new game Godot. So I'm just going to copy and paste these files for a new game inside this folder. And now when I open Trench Broom, I can now make a new map and I will see I have a Godot game here. I'm going to choose Godot for a new game, for a new map. And now we have our Trench Broom loaded and here we can make some incredible maps quite easily. So for this to work, this is not a tutorial for Trench Broom. There are a bunch of those out there. Here you can make curves, you can you can make geometry quite easily. For instance, if I want to make a small room, well I can just grab this side here, pull it outside and now make a wall and the same for all the other walls and as you can see 
Modeling in this program is incredibly easy and you can make some incredible geometry and something quite complicated with just a few clicks. So I'm going to save this map in a new file and I'm going to make sure I save this .map file in my new Godot project so I can easily access it and if I go to my Godot project and search for the project here for the file here it's not going to appear but if I right click and open file manager I will see my test.map inside my files it seems Godot can read those files if we want to load this new map inside our Godot we just have to add a new TV loader node and in the map resource we click it and we open it and now we can build our mesh and here we have it we have our new map that we made in inside trench broom and applying textures it's actually incredible easy I can just make a new folder call it textures and drag and drop image inside here I'm going to use the prototype textures that Kenny O'Neill has on his website. I'm going to choose the green textures and make sure these textures are in PNG format or else the trench broom won't be able to read them. So we drag and drop them. Uh, we have to go to we have to go to view preferences and here we have our Godot game path selected and we have to select the path of our project so trench broom can read the texture uh, folder so this is the folder of my new godot game i'm going to click it i'm going to save this and here we have a textures we just enable it by click called enable the selected mode and here in the faces we enable textures again and here we have our textures so to apply textures to our brushes we just click it and click the texture the site texture by the way i have my brightness of the program quite low because i think the their default brightness is incredible high so i'm so to change that we go to view preferences and inside here we have a brightness bar and you can increase this or decrease it as much as you like if you have a texture for example some grass i have right here some grass i downloaded from the internet so i'm going to click the albedo normal and roughness and drag and drop it but not in textures i'm going to make a new folder for material textures because i don't want trench broom to be able to read those uh, in case these are in png format which they are not but anyways we can make a new material from this i'm going to click resource new standard material 3d i'm going to save it as grass material i'm going to open it and just drag and drop the albedo the albedo the roughness and the normal map for this i'm going to enable it first and we have a new grass material but how can we use this inside trench broom well it's actually quite easy so i have a, a png image of a grass wild i'm going to rename it to grass material and i'm just going to drag and drop it in my textures folders so we can see that godot will read the grass material in instead of the png image so we update this and here we have a grass material it's gonna it's not going to look incredible incredible nice inside range broom i'm just going to use it and now i'm going to save this but when i build my new mesh well it's going to use the texture because i have to place the grass material inside textures again and now we can see that trench broom is reading the grass material instead of the png image if you want to make some terrain inside this program it's actually quite easy i'm going to go to the grid 8 make a new brush i'm going to click c and now we can just 
cut this new brush like this and we can um, I'm going to select this with control and I'm going to duplicate it by maintaining control selected and I'm just going to make like four grass of these brushes so this one this one and this one remember to keep control push and now we have our and now we have our small terrain so we can just uh, by selecting one of these and hitting control you can select a bunch of them so remember uh, this is a modeling tool so getting used to it is it will take a little while as well but the program is is way easier than blender to make 3d maps maps you can select all of these and now we can hit b to change the vertices and we can alt to push it upwards or to push it downwards and now like this we can make a map like a terrain you can even modify your material as much as you want and it will update and as you can see the plugin also creates a collision automatically and it also creates an entity geometry brush so that's how you can use Trench Broom and Godot inside Godot 4.0 and as you can see it's quite fun and this program I recommend it to make your maps if you want to make some more boxy maps or but if you want to make something more organic well maybe Blender will be your next top choice anyway that's all for this video I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next video